So today I'm going to be talking about the trial procedure and recovery. It's pretty straightforward with the exception of a few variables. One big one is how it's done. Are you going to be wide awake with them just numbing your back up? Do you want sedation? I personally prefer twilight because you remember absolutely nothing. And the thing is that when they're placing the trial leads, they're going to need your response to make sure that they're placing them in the right spot so that you're getting coverage where you need. And the company rep will be in the OR with you, sort of calibrating the device along with what you're saying so that you're going to be getting coverage where you need. Then as long as you've not experienced any complications like a spinal fluid leak or something like that, you should just go to recovery and you'll notice your back is pretty taped up, especially if the whole setup is taped to your back. That's how my DRG was with my spinal cord stimulator. It was a bit less because part of the setup was in a belt. But the rep will come out to recovery, give you some more programs, give you their contact information. And then basically once you're feeling pretty good, if you've had sedation, you'll need someone to drive you home. And then it'll just be kind of taking it easy that day. You're gonna wanna ice your back if you're hurting. If you have a condition, like I do like CRPS that can be flared up by a procedure, recovery may be a bit more difficult but basically you're gonna wanna take that first day to really just rest and then gear up for figuring out whether or not this device is providing relief for your chronic pain area. The next episode is gonna be talking about making the most of that trial experience. So I hope that proves helpful for you guys. I love you, hope you're doing well. I'll talk to you soon.